I have something in my book. <laughs> carry on, no, you carry on, you carry on. Yeah, I mean, Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> you keep recording the funny things. <laughs> <laughs> challenges. The second one. We are facing challenges. Internal challenges <coughs> and external challenges. I was listening to some sheikhs yesterday, some part of his speech. The most important internal challenge that we face is to purify our soul. This nafs, this soul inside, Okay, is what we need to struggle to shape it, to make it a nafs al the good soul. We have to struggle it, hard to do it. Because nobody can see what's in my heart apart from Allah. I can fool you, I can fool all of you, but I cannot fool myself and I cannot fool Allah. So why we should look down to one another, or on one another? Why I should not like your nose, and they call you big nose, or small nose, or big ear, small ear, okay? Whatever it is, it's wrong, but the nafs is not right, okay? Why should I be thanked publicly? Am I doing this work for Allah? Am I doing it to get the reward from him? Or am I doing the work of the volunteer to please Allah by the service that I deliver to the people? Why should I ask people to give me something for what I do? Okay? Why should I start to blame you of not praising me? It is the elf inside the heart for who come out to the public we have to sort out our houses. And our houses is inside our hearts. Heart is the problem. Clean it up. See, even when I do some good work for the, for the people, that I'm claiming that I'm serving. You know what Allah said? إنما نتعلمكم الوجه الله لا نريد منكم جزاء ولا شكورا. We feed and serve you for the sake of Allah. We are not waiting for thank you or not waiting for reward from you. It's when we talk about our souls. We talk about our souls and clean our souls. How can we clean our souls? Is by coming closer to Allah. Very simple. Can you say Subhanallah? Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahumma salli wa sallim alayka ya Rasulullah. Allahumma salli wa sallim alayka ya Rasulullah. You see, these very small things link you to the source of living and the source of life and the source of power and source of rizq, source of everything, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, allahu akbar. But if you make all your salat or your prayer for the Prophet sallallahu Allah will respond swiftly, more than you expect. Inna Allahumma la yakitaw, yusalluna ala nabi, ya ayyuhal ibn amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslim. Allah pray from the Prophet sallallahu so the scared in nafs is something extremely important. To do it when you are at home, alone. Not in front of people, not publicly. So people can see, oh, he's a great man, she's a great woman. She's making the speech 1,000 times or 2,000 times, 5,000 times an hour. No, it doesn't work like this. It doesn't work like this. When you come closer to Allah, Allah will come closer to you.
When you walk towards him, he runs towards you. When you fall, fell, fall down, he lifts you, supports you, gave you, guides you, and strengthens you. But we need to do the first step, coming closer to Allah. You cannot read Quran. Surely you can listen to it. As Sheikh Sha'arawi said in one of his speeches, when you listen to somebody reciting the Quran, you are in the presence of Allah, you are present in front of Him 24-7. But it's as if He is talking to you. When we listen to, who is the pop star that you listen to? <laughs> Justin Bieber is what he listens to. <laughs> Whatever you call it, we recite their songs. No problem. I used to recite them Kalsum and Abd Halim Hafiz and Bangra and Gangra and all that. Okay. See, but you imagine that when they recite, the, the Sheikh reciting the Quran on, the, on, on, the, on YouTube or whatever it is, that is if Allah is talking to you face to face. And this is the part of the purification of the soul. Listen. When you listen to the recitation, the nur will come on your face and your body. When you read the Quran and recite the Quran, the reward will come to you on a golden day. So Tasqiyat al-Nafs is extremely important for refugees. You know why? For, 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 for volunteers. Because you are going to be alone with young, beautiful girls in a camp. It happened and some volunteers were actually acting stupidly during the Bosna time. Vulnerable young girls and vulnerable young boys. So you have to, I'm not allowing any volunteers to be with refugees unless we purify and clean their hearts. Whether you are a man or a woman. Because such a refugee or a poor man or a poor woman or a poor child or a poor girl are the future of our life. Never touch them, never treat them badly. That's why the purification of the soul much more important than the money that we raise for the event that we make. And this is the homework for each and every one of us. And this is the internal challenge. Pause. Stop. Please. 